Right, let's take a look at this new Mercenaries DLC. There's the phone call. The Avenger can pop into the hangar and let's go grab that new 1.45 mil mother Hi and welcome back. My name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. So the new San Andreas Mercenaries DLC has dropped and I can see why Rockstar was running bonus money on the Operation Paper Trail mission series last week. So let's take a quick look at the main questline, a series of six missions that pits us against Merriweather and opens up some new opportunities. Oh, and spoilers, of course. Okay, in order to start this mission series, you need to own an Avenger at 3.45 million. You will need the new op center at another 1.45 mil and I highly recommend the missile lock jammer at 350 grand, front, top and rear turrets for 240 in total, the missile launcher for another 240, cluster bombs for 120 grand and some performance upgrades which total about 68.5. Oh and you'll need somewhere to make these mods too so that's another 1.2 million for the cheapest hangar, the LSIA A17. So if you don't own an Avenger and a hangar or facility already, you're looking at a mind-boggling 7,118,500 for the bare bones to get rolling. If you've already got the Avenger, then all you'll need all is the operation center, missile lock-on jammer, and the missile launcher for a measly 240 grand, or about the price of a new agency. Do yourself a favor, buy the agency instead. Anyway, at about this time, when I'm prepping for one of these little overviews, I'd change to a noob loadout. No Mark II weapons, low-level heavy weapons only, maybe, maybe a railgun because it's not locked behind higher ranks. Then I thought 7.2 million. This DLC has a 7.2 million dollar entry point. If you've got 7.2 million, you're not going to be a rank 10. So bring everything, just, just everything. Rocket launcher, sure thing. Minigun, why not? Mark II sniper rifle with heat vision and E-rounds, fuck it, let's go. And we're not roughing it with the Duke of Death either. It's the weaponized tamper for this one. Okay, time for the first mission, reporting for duty. Call in the Avenger. Oh, that's close, nice. Into the back and over to the console. There's a new boss feature. I presume that'll work with VIPs too. Quick briefing into the settings screen. And here we go. Straight into the Avenger, over to the quarry and drop a few bombs. Miss everything and drop more bombs take out a few choppers and sams, park the Avenger in the least convenient place possible, realize you can't take the thruster out directly from the Avenger, then exit and call it in, realize the thruster was a horrible idea, find the container, grab the Draga, load it back up, then get the heck out of Dodge. Park the Avenger, move the Draga, and we're done. We'll get a quick call from Charlie again, and we can check out the new Avenger parking spot across the road from the Angels HQ. Quick ammo, armor, and snacks top up, and on to falling in. Dusk mission this time, so not a fan. Fly to the first waypoint, autopilot, and into the back, and you'll see the controls here top left. Take a seat, then start scanning with the bottom turret until Charlie gets in your ear and you see a green marker. Land, into the drink, fetch the crate, back to the Avenger and off to the next marker. This one seems to be pretty consistently near the back of the barge, so same deal. Autopilot, into the hold, take a seat, scan, realize you've been using the wrong camera this whole time, scan some more, park it on the back of the barge, fetch the crate, deal with any resistance and off we go. Land the Avenger, run to the lockup and job's done. Another quick call from Charlie and another ammo top up. Then on to On Parade. Now this is a neat trick from Rockstar, forcing us to fly the brand new plane so we'll fall in love with it and then want to 6.9 million Fuck. five minutes later Fuck. so into the raju up and away keep an eye top left for the controls oh and in case you missed it stealth is right on the d-pad or h on your keyboard when you're in stealth you can't use weapons of course but also your map icon will flash right head north into stealth and through the canyon next is some maneuvers so you can do each of the ones noted on screen or you can just barrel roll until you've got 15 points take out the target next oh and if your weapons aren't working chances are you're in stealth mode so right on the d-pad or h next is the fun part trial by combat honestly i just move from one side of the alamo sea to the other and use the homing missiles the plane and chopper ais aren't real bright so they're reasonably easier to deal with speaking of not real bright the enemy avenger pilot is an absolute drongo after a couple of passes i noted the ai likes to dip the avenger down then ascend as they approach
approach. So by flying from one side of the Alamo Sea to the other, nice and low, I could consistently get the AI to land or just crash into the water. It's a thing of beauty. Back to Fort Zancudo and done. And another quick call from Charlie and another ammo top up. Then back to the Avenger for breaking ranks. Pop it down at Mackenzie Field, get out, grab a bike if you feel like it, and across the road. You can go in loud, or you can go in quiet. I couldn't decide, so I started stealthy and then went large. Yep, 100% on purpose, and definitely not because I'm crap at stealth. Into the warehouse and grab some cover. Now, do not listen to Charlie. He does not know what he's talking about. See that armored rumpo? The one on the left? Yeah, we need that intact. So if you go blowing crap up, it's likely to be a mission failure. I got real lucky here with the railgun. I have no idea how the van didn't go when I popped that off-roader. Anyway, clear the mercs, grab the slow-ass van, and back to the Avenger. Just in time to see it blow up. Oh no, our easy, fast means of escape was destroyed, leaving us with a slow-ass van, again, making this mission unnecessarily long. Again, it's almost like Rockstar was trying to pad the content. Again, color me surprised. At least, uh, a neat new radar jammer mechanic was introduced, I guess. Back to base and job's done. Another quick call from Charlie, and another ammo top up. And onto the penultimate challenge, unconventional warfare. Again, stealth or not, your call. Let's do stealth this time. Grab snacks and armor if you need it, helo in, and we're aiming for the closest wall to us, and as close to the gas storage as possible for this run. Watch these cones of visions, and snipe the guards when you can. Into the compound. Okay, now it will take a while, but Rockstar have given you an angle on every guard. You might need to backtrack some, but you can 100% get to Schwartzman without being detected. Grab RV, then surprise surprise the alarm goes off, and start blasting. Back out of the compound, where you're dropped into cover. Okay, now the temptation here is to push forward. Don't. Turn around and make a line for the fence in completely the opposite direction. Jump the fence, down the hill, and call in your personal vehicle. Back up the hill and wait for Avi, then down the hill again, grab your car, and fetch our boy. Snacks up, then head to the Avenger. Merryweather will start pursuing, so into a chair. And we're into the rail shooter section. Controls are top left. Take out the mercs, remembering to change turrets regularly, and don't forget the boats as well. Once they're sorted, job's done. Call, ammo, armor, Avenger, and on to shot and awe. So, Arvi's managed to hack into Merriweather to find their super secret hideout, their nerve center, the head of the snake. Is this going to be a new op center for us? A new property? A new inter? Oh, it's a Merriweather docks. <sighs> okay, put it down at the end of the docks. Ask backwards, start thinning the herd, but not too much. Some are infinitely spawning. If you see one of these flashy doodads, pop them too. Up the stairs to the office, down the stairs to the one damn jammy you missed, up the stairs again, pop the guard, press the button, down, cart, shoot, cart, shoot, and no, you can't make it. Into the Avenger and off. And don't worry about the mercs, they're slow. Quick cutscene and 250 grand. 250 grand, that's it. A 7.2 million dollar entry point. Two million 40,000 out of pockets plus this useless thruster and the first time bonus is 250 grand 370 if you include the rewards i just uh... <sighs> right full mission guides will be linked below once they're up stay safe wash your hands and we'll see you in the next video